All right, here's a real quick tutorial on our dispatch system. Now, here's your map going to dispatch under connect, and it pulls up the dispatch. Now, the way you use this, you go into create job. Um, what I do is I put in the patient's last name here. I'll do this. Uh, you can do address or you can do landmarks. Now, if you do addresses, you need to type in the city. Uh, now, the trick to this is some cities or some addresses you'll be told are in either could be told Lady Lake, could be told Ocala, but the they're actually in the villages or they're in Oxford or they're in Wildwood or they're in Leesburg, but they say uh, Fruitland Park. I recommend that you also use Google Maps in correlation with this. Um, the other really neat thing about this system is the fact that if you do type in an address, um, and the address, look in and find out that you've got the correct address. Okay, here we are in the villages. Now, you see this little cursor thingy right here. Now, you can move this anywhere. And what is nice about that is you type in an address here. You're given an address. You punch it in here. But the system doesn't recognize that that's the correct address. Well, you can go over to Google Maps and go into the hybrid mode you can go to the hybrid here you go to satellite mode in um, Google Maps and Google Maps will pretty much tell you where it's at except for the newer parts of the villages that is still kind of a hanky thing um, this map and Google Maps do not necessarily always correlate together due to the simple fact that this is a different system than Google Maps okay so now that you've got your address set in now you've got to put in a job message i like to use this as home address this is doctor's office this is where they are this is where they're going those are the shortcut keys that i like to do now once you've got that set in there you come down in here to select your vehicle you can select any any one of the active vehicles that we have and you can just hit save if you want to send the message right away now what's nice about this system is you can act you can stack transports on top of transports what I mean by that is you have an 8 o'clock in the morning pickup and you want to send the information to the GPS now you can do that by simply coming in here and altering when the dispatch time is sent now keep in mind that you send them to a you send a driver to a facility well that's going to be the first thing that comes up okay and then after you send if you send them to an address that's going to be up on top so what I would recommend doing is sending them sending them the the address to the facility that they are going to first and then coming in here and setting this up to their destination, setting a, a time that they should be picking up for their destination. What I ha what I normally do is if they're at a facility, I will set the dispatch time to 10 minutes prior to their pickup time. That way, they the information will be sent to the GPS while the vehicle is on. Now, if you send the information to the vehicle, to the driver, and the vehicle is off, the system will not receive it. The vehicle has to be on. They have to be registered as a little blue dot. Now, you, will, you may get drivers that call and say, I haven't got the information yet. They turn the van on. It doesn't come right away. It takes a few minutes for the system to realize that the van is on for it to send it. The great thing about this is, is this is almost, like I said, foolproof. There's no way that the drivers can mess up the addresses that are in the GPS. There's nothing they need to do. There's nothing they need to input. 
All they have to do is hit the little flag on the GPS unit and hit go. That information that is sent to the GPS takes them right where they need to go. This is all on the dispatcher to make sure that all of this information is correct. If this information isn't correct, then the drivers aren't going to have the correct information. So, with that being said, once you've saved that, you can have, uh, that will be sent to, um, yes, now we'll select the sleepers, the sleeper cell, and we will hit save. Now, we have that job in there. I have to send this van off to go do another job. But this patient is now ready, and I need to send this information to another van. Well, I don't have to go in and create another job. What I can do is simply click on that, click on the job title, and come in here to clone. Now, what that will do is that, as you can see, it creates, it creates a carbon copy of everything that I have sent that driver. And now all I have to do is go in and change this information to the van that is going to go pick up that person or go to go pick up that patient. And then I would hit save and they would have the exact same information that the other van did. We'll cancel that. Now we'll come in here and we'll do an edit. Um, we've sent this information that this is where the this is where we were told. We get a phone, we get a call um, stating that that's not really where the patient's at. Okay, well now we can come in here, we can edit where this patient is. This patient's really at the village's hospital. The patient's really at the village's hospital. Now, with that checked, I come down here, I hit include landmark. And the name and I hit submit now when that goes into the GPS the the landmark name will be will be in that name now after you've done that you come down here and you hit replace job well now it shows that the that the driver is actually going to 1440 uh, 1449 El Camino Real instead of 1501 North US Highway 441 okay so now that you've got that that will be sent to the GPS that has just updated everything the other job that you had in there is replaced by this one if you want to delete it say they show up and the patient's not actually going or the patient's not going or what have you you come in here and you hit delete and that's going to take it out of the system. Now it's going to take it a minute for it to realize that it's not being, any, nothing is being done. So we'll, now we'll cancel that. And now we have no more jobs in this system.